Today, we're going to talk about how to read a graduated cylinder. A, reading a graduated cylinder is actually really easy to do if you remember just a few rules. But before we get started, take a second and look very closely at the water inside of the graduated cylinder in the picture. What do you notice about the water? If you look closely, you would see that the water is curved and it dips down. There's a special name for this. The name of the curved surface of the liquid that's in a tube is called the meniscus. Now, when you're reading a graduated cylinder, it's important to always read the graduated cylinder from the bottom of the meniscus. When you're reading a graduated cylinder, as you can see in the picture, it is very, very important to always read it at eye level. This makes sure that you are reading the numbers straight across, not from the top where you might get a lower reading or from the bottom up where you might get a higher reading. By looking at the graduated cylinder from eye level, it makes it much easier for you to see the bottom of the meniscus where you should be taking your reading from. Take a look at this picture. In this picture, we see two different characters. The boy is actually looking from the top and he sees 82, which should be milliliters from where he's standing. The girl looking straight across at it sees 80 milliliters looking directly at it. Who is correct? If you said that the girl in the yellow shirt was correct, you're absolutely right. Remember, it is very, very important to always read a graduated cylinder from eye level. It makes a huge difference. So let's try some practice here. If you're reading the meniscus and you're looking at it from eye level, notice in the picture that this cylinder is graduated. And graduated actually means that there are many smaller units between the larger units. So if you look at it, at the very bottom, you'll see that we have 60 and at the very top, we have 70. The bottom of the meniscus is written actually somewhere between the 60 and the 70. By looking at the way that this meniscus is graduated or calibrated, we can see that it's by tens, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So if you're reading the bottom of the curve, you can see that this graduated cylinder actually reads 67 milliliters. That would be the correct answer. Not 68 milliliters from the top of the curve, it's 67. It is so important. I can't even stress how important this is to remember. Let's try another example. Okay, here's another example. If you look at this graduated cylinder, you can see that the increments, again, go by tens between 40 and 50. The middle level counts by fives. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Now, as we're reading from the bottom of the meniscus, the best reading here would be 43 milliliters. 41, 42, 43 from the bottom. What I'd like you to do right now is pause the recording, get out a sheet of scrap paper to write your answers to some practice problems that we're gonna do. Please be sure to pause the recording and write the answers on your paper. That way you can check it to see if you're right. All right, take a look at this graduated cylinder and go ahead and try to make a reading. Remember, graduated cylinders are always read in milliliters. Pause it, and when you're ready, hit play. Okay, hopefully you notice that this again counts by ones, 80, 81, and from the bottom of the meniscus, we would get the best closest reading of 81 milliliters. If you said 81 milliliters, good job. You're off to a great start. If you didn't, don't worry, we have lots of practice. Here comes our next example. Here's three different graduated cylinders. Now, they come in all shapes and sizes. These are gonna be only 25 milliliter cylinders. 
They don't quite have a huge meniscus, but just make sure you read it from the bottom most point. Please pause, write the answers for graduated cylinder one, two, and three down, and then we'll practice in just a second. All right, if you hopefully have paused it and have three answers written down, let's take a look at number one. Number one, we can see is somewhere between 15 and 20. We can see that it's counting by ones, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and the bottom of meniscus reads pretty close to 19 milliliters. So if you said 19 milliliters for this, you're absolutely correct. Number two, number two, the bottom, of the, meniscus read, the bottom of the meniscus reads right above the 10 milliliters, one increment above, and that's gonna give us a, a measurement of 11 milliliters. And lastly, the third, one, two, three, should give you a measurement of 18 milliliters, three above the 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's try one more set. If you notice now, these graduated cylinders are actually marked at the 50 milliliter line, so they're gonna be a little bit bigger. Again, if you notice this time, they're still by ones, but there's 10 in between, 10 increments in between the 20 and the 30, and the 30 and the 40, and the 40 and the 50. Each of these halves counts for five. Take a second, pause, and write your answers to practice one, two, and three. Okay, for number one, you should have gotten 21, 22, 23 milliliters would be the best answer here. For practice number two, 41 milliliters would be your best answer. And for the last one, 15 milliliters would be your best answer. If you got these all right, you're ready to move on to the practice problems on your own. If you're still struggling, make sure you raise your hand and help your, ask your teacher who will come over to you and give you some one-on-one -on -one help and get you right back on track. Thanks for listening.